In this video, we're going over how to mirror your Revel 4, 4 Plus, or 5G to your TV. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the mobile technology coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Today we're going to walk you through how to mirror your Revel 4, 4 Plus, or 5G screen to your TV. We're going to show you two methods to do this. Now in the first method, you're going to be able to mirror the entire screen. So like if you're playing games or you're trying to show pictures or whatever it is, it'll show exactly what's on your screen on the TV. On the second method, we're just going to show you how to send a video from your phone to the TV. So if you're trying to watch a Netflix video, Hulu, YouTube, you name it, you'll be able to just send the video to the TV and use your phone to do other things. Um, in the first method, you will need um, an HDTV, Wi-Fi, and a Chromecast for it to work. In the second method, you will need Wi-Fi and you will need either a smart TV uh, Chromecast, a Roku, or a Fire Stick TV. Um, any one of those methods will work for you to mirror your screen, um, just the video to the TV. So those are the main things. Um, next, to get started, you will need to go to the Play Store and download this app. It is the Google Home app. Just do a quick search for Google Home and then download this app right here. Once you have that downloaded, um, you will need to open the app. And then you'll need to swipe down from the top of your screen and make sure that your Wi-Fi is turned on. If this little button is not lit up, just tap on it to light it up and make sure you connect to your Wi-Fi network. Now we're gonna walk through the quick steps for the um, Chromecast. Now, um, before we do this actually, you will need to switch your TV to the input that your Chromecast is plugged into and make sure um, you see your Chromecast screen on the TV, you'll see a, a screen that has a wallpaper and it should have like a little clock. Okay, tap on get started and then okay. If not, it will ask you to sign to your Gmail account. Hit next, allow while using, turn on Bluetooth, allow. And then it should take you to this screen. Now this is the main screen of Google Home right here. Okay, so on this screen, we're gonna look for our Chromecast device. Now when you set up your Chromecast, you'll have a few different options that will show up. So when you set up the Chromecast initially, it'll ask you to name it or it'll ask you what room you're gonna put it in. So uh, right here, you should see either um, the room that you put it in, maybe you put it in your living room, so this could say living room, or there's a way to create a custom name for it, and we just named ours Chromecast 2. So you'll see basically the name of the Chromecast here, and you'll see a little box right above the icon right here, just tap on this little box, and then you'll tap Cast My Screen, and let's slide this over. Tap cast screen, start now. And now you'll see what's on your phone, on your TV, and everything you do will show right up on your TV. So this is the full mirror, everything on your screen will show up on the TV. This is the mode that is great for uh, showing gameplay or uh, pictures from a trip or a video from a trip or um, just again, anything where you'd want to show exactly what is happening on your screen step by step, this is the best method. It does support landscape as well as the portrait mode, so it will fill out the screen when it needs to. Now here's the thing, this method is not the best if you're just trying to show a movie or a video from a streaming app. So I'm going to show you how to close out this section and then I'll show you how to do the other method that will only send the video to the TV and not everything that you're doing. So next what we want to do to stop our screen from mirroring to the TV is we're going to swipe down from the top of the screen and you will see an option that says casting screen and you're going to tap on the little arrow, this little drop down next to this microphone and just tap disconnect. That will stop your screen from mirroring to the TV. And now we're gonna go home 
And so in this second method, again, we're just gonna show you how to play a video right from your phone to the TV through a streaming app. So we're gonna show something through YouTube. So here's our YouTube app here. And we're just gonna go to a video. Let's see, let's go to this video here. Now pause the video. In the upper right corner, you should see a little icon. It's gonna be your cast icon right here. Tap on that icon and tap. Um, so this is where you're gonna see your different options. So if you have a Chromecast, a smart TV, a Roku, or a Fire Stick, they're all gonna show up in this menu here. Now currently we only have a Chromecast and a Roku that is on, but we do have a smart TV. So if you just turn the TV on first, it will show up in this uh, list of options here. For the sake of this, I'm just gonna mirror it to the Chromecast. So let's tap on that. And now you'll see the video is going to send and start playing right on the TV and give it a second. Now I can go home and I can do other things on the phone. I can check my text messages. I can surf the web. I can do whatever I want. And the video is just gonna keep playing on the TV. So this is one of the best um, reasons why I like this method better because again, your video will play and your phone will still be functional for you to use. And if you swipe down from the top of the screen here, you'll have this pop-up here that will allow you to control the video further so you can pause the video, for example. You can uh, move forward or backwards in the video by dragging this little bar. Or if you're all done, you can just tap the little X here to stop it from sending the video. So that's how easy it is to mirror your phone screen to your TV. And um, again, it will work with all those different devices. So Chromecast, Roku, uh, Fire TV, um, and smart TVs as well. So hope you guys did find this helpful. We'll leave links below in the description of where you can purchase those different streaming devices if you don't have them. But we just wanted to do a general video and kind of walk you through the process of how to mirror your screen. And we hope you, you guys found this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.